book 104. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the great race. That's right, the great race. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, four great kingdoms came together to challenge each other to a race. The four kings of these four kingdoms were four brothers who wished to see whose kingdom was greatest. They did not, however, want to shed innocent blood to find out. To get the answer to the question, each kingdom sent their best runner to the great race. Once everything was prepared, the race, which was to be the longest race ever, began. The four runners ran longer than most men can run, and then, up ahead on the road, they all saw their wives and children waving at them. One of the men, missing his family dearly because the race was long, stopped to hug his family and speak to them. The other three men, although they missed their families also, they continued to run the race. They continued to run further than most people could imagine. Then, up ahead, the three runners saw all sorts of food on the side of the road. One of the men, being hungry beyond reason, stopped to eat some of the food. The other two men, although they were hungry as well, continued to run the race. They continued to run further than most people could dream about. Then, up ahead, the two runners saw a pool of fresh drinking water on the side of the road. One of the men, dying of thirst and fearing dehydration, stopped to drink some of the water. The last man, although he was thirsty as well, continued to run the race. He continued to run further than even the best runner could run. Then, he crossed the finish line and dropped to his knees in triumph. He had won the great race. Looking behind himself to see what had become of the others, he found them all standing on the side of the road. The first man he encountered was drinking air as if it were water. The second man he encountered was eating air as if it were food. And the third man he encountered was holding the air and speaking to it as if it were his family. Then the winner of the race realized they were fooled into stopping by illusions. And from that day forward, the winner of the great race was remembered as a symbol of fighting all the way until the end and never giving up. And so, the morning motivation of today is the great race. Life itself is a race, family, but you're racing against yourself and you are racing against time. You know better than me what your hopes and aspirations are. So today, you need to focus on that. Do not become distracted by things that will eventually come in time anyway. Many times, when you stop running your race for temporary satisfaction, that type of satisfaction is only a shadowy mirage of the real thing. The only thing that will satisfy a person on a genuine journey to accomplish their dreams is the act of accomplishing their dreams. Be willing to sacrifice. Be willing to discipline yourself and be ready to run further than any other person can even dream of running. And then you will become the best version of yourself. And so today, go out and do good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.